recording. Okay, so happy Monday, my friends. Here we go. So it is Monday, April 12th, 2021. And here comes Rylan, just in the nick of time. Hello, Rylan. Okay, so we're just getting started, Rylan. Okay, today is 139, day 139 of fourth grade. Ooh, ooh. Well, we sure got the rain we needed, friends. Yes, we did. The trees have started budding and some flowers are blooming. I can't believe that when I looked up at the trees this morning, how many more buds they had than a couple days ago. Love it. So oh, here comes Nuku. So I just want to, I'll go over in a minute. There's a couple changes to the check-in and small group schedule. So I'll go over that in just one moment. Who can read me my quote of the week? This is written by Helen Keller. Uh, Livy. Keep your face to the sunshine and you'll never see a shadow. Hmm, I wonder what Helen Keller meant when she said that. Anybody have an idea? Keep your face to the sunshine and you'll never see a shadow. What do you think that means? It's figurative language, kind of. Tabby, what do you think that means? Um, I think it means that as long as you keep looking at the good things, you'll never see the bad things. Ah, so it's like shifting that thinking, right? When you find yourself going into kind of that negative space, flip it around and go, well, what's something I could be thankful for? Something that's positive. Love that. She was a pretty inspirational woman, I would say. All right. Um, let's just go over what we're going to be doing today, or you're going to be doing today. In ELA, you're going to be reading one more little mystery called The Pancake Thief with Hannah and writing a summary. We haven't done that in a while. We'll go over that in just a minute. So we've read The Mystery of the Shiny Paper, Be the Best Detective You Can Be. And now you're going to be reading The Pancake Thief. So in math, you're just going to be taking a short quiz on how to use division to find those equivalent fractions. We're going to do a little review today. Um, have you ever wondered how pine trees grow? I don't really see any flowers on a pine tree. And where are the seeds? So that's your focus today for science. And social studies, you're going to be learning about an uh, era in our history called the Great Depression. Um, a very kind of sad time in our history, but important for you to know. So I think we needed a little uplifting video, Motivational Monday. Let's see what we've got. It's about a baby sloth. I mean, who doesn't love sloths? Come on. Here we Aww. go. I know. This one just, oh. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this rolling. This one's short. This is only a minute and 33 seconds. Oh, so cute. So he, usually they're in trees, but he was found by the beach. Oh. So Dirk came to rescue him. I took off. I still got my cooking apron on because I was doing bacon that morning. I'm literally sprinting down the beach barefoot with the kitchen apron on in a box to the tower. Oh. Bowser, he's very sunburned. Oh, look at that little guy. I never knew what so sound they made. That pitiful uh, crying sound, like a baby. And it just, it totally melted my heart. I needed to help this poor creature out. Look at all the sand. That's all I did was what any responsible, you know, person would do would be to rescue a poor animal that obviously had a really rough night. 
So friends, that that website called Kids Kind, there's also a website or it's a YouTube channel called Animal Kind. It's really cool. So if you go on um, here, let me just go back. So let me just show you where it is. So if you, you know, if you, if you enjoy animal stories, like I do. Um, so on the week at a glance, the link for kids kind is in there right here. So if you click on that, it will bring you to their homepage and then you can scroll down to find animal videos um, for that. So that is that. Stay testing people, just another reminder. iPad, fully charged, headphones, book to read, and a water bottle if pos if you have one. Okay, so I'm really not gonna go anything. Hey, did any of you guys use the choice board when you were done? Alex, you, you haven't even taken it yet. Well, anyway, this is here for you if you need it. Nathan, you did? I'm saying I would. Oh, you would. Okay, fabulous. Okay, so check-ins. I just want to show you a little bit of a change. And these people already know this, but I thought it'd be a good reminder anyway. So the only change is Lillian only has one check-in now, which she knows. Evie only has one check-in now. So Evie, yours is just on Wednesdays. Okay. And then Nathan, okay, this is where it's changed. Everybody look. Today is Sheila, Colton, and Livy. That's it. Okay, and then tomorrow, Rylan, you now have some friends in your group, Evie and Lillian. And so Padme, Ruby, and Ethan, you're the only three on Thursday. Ethan, Ethan. So I need you to start coming to my group. Nathan, you are now on Thursday. Okay. Is that, is that okay with you, Mr. Strutz? Fabulous. So that's the only change. All right. Here's our breakout rooms. Ooh. What is the hardest thing in your life right now? Sometimes we, we have some ups and downs. So for me, I would probably say the hardest thing in my life right now <sighs> would be Destin's injury. He broke his collarbone playing football. So when he's in pain, some, his mom's kind of in pain too. So I know he's struggling right now, wanting to play sports. So that's the hardest thing right now. Nathan? The hardest thing for me is not getting to travel and really go anywhere much. Oh, because of COVID, okay. Well, how about you talk about that in your group, okay? Um, peaks and valleys, my peak is that the sun was shining this morning and I don't have a valley. So what's the hardest thing in your life right now is the big conversation starter. Here we go. Thing in my life right now would probably be schooling. Okay. Why why no, draw. Cooper, why is it difficult? How can you explain that? Um because for me I just don't like ELA. Okay. And you're so good at it. Okay, Gangjua, what about you, honey? Um, the hardest thing in my life right now is that um, I don't usually get to see kids a lot because I'm an only child and I have to play them. Yeah, peaks and valleys. Um, my peak is that I might be visiting a water park this summer. Hmm. But my valley is that I have to wait till summer to go there. <laughs> Alex, what did you need help with? Where is everyone in the house? 
Oh, <laughs> well, we have four less people today because of them testing. So you just have a small breakout room. Uh, you guys just chat away. I'm going to check with the next group. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Came to the wrong group. I'll be back. Ruby, are you, you're good? Yeah, it will be a two turn. I think we just got our cabinets. So, and then my valley is that. Rylan, can you come in the camera so we can see you? Oh, there he is. Oh, hello. So, what's your. My, what's my what? What's your valley? Um, my valley is that it's not that warm out. Oh, it'll be coming. It'll be coming. Miss Boy, I have baseball today. Oh, you do? Is it just starting? It's, I have tryouts Monday, <gasps> Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday. Fun. I remember those days when my son had tryouts, and we were always waiting to see what TV was going to be on. Mm -hmm. It has everyone gone. Well, no. has another Beacon Valley. Where'd we go? Valley. Abby? Um, my peak is that um, I got to play with my brother a lot this weekend. And my valley is that um, I didn't go outside this weekend. Yeah, it was a little rainy, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to open our rooms up, friends. Okay. So it was interesting. Um, what some of you said about what's difficult in your life right now, would somebody want to just volunteer and share out what's been tough for them right now? It's a safe place. It's good to talk about these things. Livy, what about you? Um, for me, it's hard to, um, it's hard for me not to travel. Oh, that you can't travel. Okay, I agree. That's been challenging for me too. Tabby, what about you? Um, there have just been a lot of things going on with family and it's hard to keep my head wrapped around everything. Okay. Do you have someone you can talk to about that and kind of get that out? Yeah. Okay. Anyone else want to share out? We're still missing some friends here. Want to, Nuku, did you want to say something? Yes. Um, it's also um, very hard to like think about what my sisters keep telling me. Like one day the like the world is gonna drown with water, <clears throat> and I don't know if it's true or not because they joke sometimes, but sometimes they don't. Okay, so they're they're you're just not sure what to believe. Yeah. Oh, those older sisters. I think they're trying to pull your leg, Nuku. Pull your leg. I think they're trying to joke with you. All right. Not everyone's back, but oh, here we go. Okay. So Ruby and Alex, did you want to share anything that's been difficult for you before we move on? Or Ethan? Um, like, uh, four months ago, uh, or like two, four months ago, my, well, my parents died. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Ethan, what about you? Mostly just school. It's hard to keep my head wrapped around everything. It's just super overwhelming. Okay, I know. Some days can be like that, right? I, friends, as a teacher, I understand that school is not ideal right now. But you just keep pushing through. You got it. You got it, okay? All right, so let's just take a peek. Um, I'm not sharing. Oh, I was, I'm going to make it through one morning meeting where I don't forget to share. That's my goal this week. Oh. All right. Let's, uh, let's, uh, da, 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 da. all right, hopefully we can see this. Okay. Um, um. 
There we go. Yeah, so, we can see it. Fabulous. So if you see me looking up, you know it's because my screen is up here, right? Okay. So you are going to do my side guide. You're going to reread The Pancake Thief and write a little summary. And we're going to practice that in just a minute. Ooh, math. You're doing the self-check review on your own. I am not helping with that. There's no video. And then you're taking a quick quiz. And do, 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 do. Um, to flower or not to flower. So I am doing a little read aloud about the pine tree, which I actually learned some things about the pine tree. I did not know. And then you have um, two pages in your packet to go over the life cycle of the pine tree. And there's nothing to submit in social studies, but you need to make sure you do slides one through three. Here's the slide guide, because there's a lot of info in there, okay? But nothing to actually submit today. All right. So I know Cooper was trying to get out of doing the summary, um, but I wouldn't let him. Let's see, where did I put that on here? Here we go. So friends, when you write a summary, you're not telling every single little mini detail of the story. You're just breaking it down and giving us a shortened version. That's what a summary is. So I just wanna remind you what this somebody wanted, but so then, do you remember that? From way back, eyes up here, cause you're gonna be doing this on your own, Nathan. All right, so somebody, that means like, who's the main character? What do they want? What's their problem? But what's kind of happening with the problem? What are some events? How do they fix the problem and how does it end? Okay, you guys are gonna help me with this one because it's a short story and I think we can do it together right now. This is really gonna help, I think, when you do it on your own. Okay, soccer or fractions? I need a brave soul to do a little reading for me. The first paragraph, Rylan? Seth was outside playing soccer. He practiced juggling and kicking the ball into the goal. Seth practiced every day. He always, wore, he always wore the jersey of his favorite team. His dad told Seth that if he, if he got an A on his next math test, you would get him tickets to see their game. Ooh. Seth wanted to go so badly, but his test was on fractions. He did not understand fractions. So right now, what could we fill in? What do we already know, friends? What do we already know? Um, Nuku. The main, the main character. Well, Seth. who is it? Seth. Okay, so all I do is write Seth. Okay. So this is just a frame. Okay. What did Seth want, or what is what is his predicament? What problem is he in, um, it facing? Rylan. So like, basically his dad told him he wants to go to their game, but he's not good at fractions. So he doesn't believe in himself. Seth wanted to go to his game. His dad said he needed to get what? An A. An A on his math test. The pro, oh, so that's what he wanted. Oops. Sorry, friends. Sometimes that happens when I'm in this. But what does he say his problem is? You just said it, Rylan. Oh, we're going to read a little more and see if we can add. Um, Mr. Folder. Oh, the next day at school, he asked his teacher, Mr. Folder, for help. Mr. Folder told Seth he could stay after school and he would go through the study guide with him. Seth listened and wrote down everything Mr. Folder said. Mr. Folder also gave Seth some extra problems to bring home to practice. Seth went home and over the next few days, he practiced his fractions. So his problem was what? How would you word that on your own? What, he lost his two front teeth while he was eating dinner? <laughs> no, Livy. Um. Um, Seth doesn't understand fractions. Ah, so what does he do about that? He 
He what? asked his teacher for help. Okay, so if I do it, whoop, here we go again. Whoop, frustration, there we go. I like using the text option. So because of that problem, he stays after school and works with Mr. Folder. He also practices problems at home. All right, well, what's the last part? When it was time to take the test? Hey, by the way, you spelled Folder wrong. Actually, that's how it's spelled. He took his test and got an A. Seth was so happy to know fractions and to see his soccer game. So how did it end? He was able to what? Put that in your own words. soccer game. Nuku. Get an A. Seth earned an A on his test and was able to go to the game. So you're going to be reading the pancake thief. You're going to be writing your own summary, friends. I'm not telling you how to do it. So if I go to this is actually in your packet, let's see if I can uh, just give me one second. I want to make sure you know what to do. So you don't keep emailing me, Miss Wally. So friends, you need to have at least six sentences. Okay. You'll be able to do this. I think you'll like this story. Hannah's in here. Her grandma and grandpa are in this one. Do, 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 do. Give me one second. I'm just going to pull it out of the Dropbox. So I noticed some of you rush to get your assignments done and then you end up having to redo it. So I would suggest just taking your time, friends, and not rush, rush, rushing. All right. It is right here. Like I said, this is in your packet, but you can do it on here if you want. What? It's a blank sheet of paper. So think about somebody who, what was the mystery? What was the problem? How was it solved? What happened at the end? I know you guys are going to do fantastic because you're rock stars. That's why. Oh, guess what we forgot to do? All right, let's do this. We got to do it. It's Monday. And hopefully I don't have to log in again, but we will see. Oh, oh. Be back. Be back. And this Can one's going it? out to Tuckahoe Elementary oh. in Arlington, Virginia. Can see it. Snow cab, once again, we return. Always got that goose with us, just in case you haven't learned. First up, Georgia Republicans passed a bill imposing voting restrictions. Some say they need to chill. People are calling it voter suppression. It's got a lot of corporations speaking out against them. Even Major League Baseball took a stand. Yup, and pulled the All-Star game out of Atlanta. Hey, the Navy reached a milestone like no other. They've got four warships commanded by women of color. Okay. The officers say things have changed dramatically. Cause for women who serve, nothing came automatically. No. Listen, in Michigan, the governor's on a mission uh. to give essential workers free college tuition. Using money from the CARES Act, her plan is designed to enrich the futures of the workers on the front line. Now, for the bald eagle, we've seen a good sign. Yeah. Their population's quadruple since 2009. What? They say it's from protections and pesticide bans. We're hoping that the numbers oh. continue to Go. expand. Go. Last the NCAA tournament's a wrap. What? And once again, March Madness was exactly that. Yeah. For the first time in years, Stanford women got the win. Hey. Plus, Baylor won their first title ever for the men. Uh, it's Flowcab. You know we'll be back again. Don't forget about the contest. Who should tap in? Uh-huh. It's Flow. All right. Flowcabulary. All right. So here's the dealio. Tabby and Nathan and Cooper, you may go. Everyone else needs to stay. I want to review for your math quiz. They already took this quiz. So don't think when they leave, it's because they're getting out of work. Okay. They already did it with me. So, okay. Get a piece of paper, dry erase board. You're going to thank me because these are the kind of the questions that are on your quiz today. 
Miss Willie? Yes, Miss Kruger. When me and my mom are going somewhere, we found some people on the side of the road saying, kids shouldn't be wearing masks. Oh, well, see, the thing about the United States, people have freedom of expression, right? Freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. They have a right to share, even though you may not believe, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes a you're going to come across people with different views and um, just respectfully disagree if that's what you choose. Yeah, but a bunch of people there were honking at them. Oh. Their car horns. Okay. Because they were happy or not happy? I don't know. Oh. Okay. So, friends, these are the kind of, these are the questions on the quiz. The numbers are just different. Do you remember how we use division? So, if you're going to divide using a common factor of four to find the equivalent fraction for eight sixteenths, remember all you do right? Eight sixteenths. And then all you have to do is divide the top and the bottom by four. That's all it's asking you to do. So you're going to find an equivalent fraction. So somebody help me out. What's eight divided by four? Rylan. Um, I have another question, but I'm, 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 I'm going to have to get, I'm going to get kicked out soon because the electrician, the electrician at my house is going to turn off our power. Well, we're, we'll be done in like three minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. So eight divided by four, Livy. Um, what, what, honey? 32. No, divided. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, it would have been, if it was multiplying, that'd be right. <laughs> Eight divided by four. You want to phone a friend, Livy? Yeah. What do you want to phone? Hey. Um. Alex, Ethan, Alex, and Ethan, turn your cameras on. Hey. I'm sorry, who are you, who, who did you just call on, Livy? Evie. Oh, Evie, I'm sorry. What's eight divided by four, my dear? Um, two. Okay, and then what's 16 divided by four? Four. So, two fourths is equivalent to eight sixteen. So if it's asking you to use a common factor, you just divide the numerator and denominator by two. So we're going to use the common factor because they both share that factor of two. Let's divide the top and the bottom. Alex, six divided by two. Six divided by two. Um... Twelve divided, not multiplying. How many twos go into six? Two, two four, four, eight, four. Okay, Alex, no guessing. Two, four, three, four six. six, three. Three. What is eight divided by two? Eight divided by two is Ethan, two, just a minute, honey. Four, six, four. You got it. So there's your answer. Ethan, what was your question, honey? You're muted, honey. It's a weird question, but when is summer break starting? How about we we're gonna finish math up and then I can then I can tell you. Okay. All right, okay. last one. Common factor of five. So you're just gonna ask yourself, what is 15 divided by five? Oh, easy peasy. Nuku. Three. Yes, ma'am. And then 20 divided by five. Nuku. 10. Uh, I gotta count by fives till you get to 20. Five, 10. 
four. Yes, ma'am. And that's how we use division. So Mr. Bruns would like to know when summer vacation starts. Would you like to see a calendar? Okay, let me show you. Let me grab my calendar and then I will show you guys. Uh, let me pull it up here. I haven't shared this with anyone, but I suppose it's okay for you to know, right? All right, give me just a second. Um, I got to scooch this down so you guys can. Okay, can you see that? Now, Ethan, can you see this, honey? Can you see the calendar? Okay, so this is May. Your actual last day of virtual where we're face-to-face -face is right here. You have one week after that to get all your assignments in. This is our last day face-to-face. And then the actual last day of school is June 4th. So everything's got to be done by then. And Miss Woolley, I'll, I'll send letters and stuff. So no worries there. Miss Woolley. Yes, dear. This is like the last like um, virtual school thing we're doing. Well, he wanted to know when summer vacation started. So I was just showing you in May when your last day was. Oh. But that's a ways away. All right, anybody need any help with anything before I say adios? Alex, I'll see you at 10.30, okay? Okay, bye-bye. All right, you guys have a good morning. Get some work done. I'm as well as you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.